All righty, beautiful souls. Ah, can you believe a month has gone by since the last full moon? And tonight, of course, it is actually full moon. It is the night of the full moon, uh, here in the UK at least. And we have only one person from across the Atlantic, I think, joining us today. The rest are either south or, or, or in the UK or holidaying or in other parts of the world. Very nice. And you can see that the UK is still in summertime because most of us are still in shorts and, and a t-shirt. Um, mm. And those in Cape Town are all in uh, hoodies and down jackets. So definitely uh, different parts of the world coming together. Now, with these things, with these full moons, as many of you know, uh, I don't generally plan them. I do plan them. Obviously, I plan them, but I don't always know what I'm going to be talking about until literally moments before. Um, you know, I, I just decided to go out in the garden. Uh, what I saw was this incredible, beautiful uh, mini sunflower. I went, hey, that's going to be perfect for the altar, isn't it? Uh, and, and of course it is. So there it is. So it had to make it on. That was literally only, only 10 minutes ago. And then I always ask, well, is there a particular goddess? Because sometimes the goddesses don't want to work with you on the full moon. They want to work with the gods. Well, sometimes they just want you to journey with other beings. And tonight, coming in very strongly, uh, was um, Isis, the goddess Isis, the goddess of our left. Left-hand side being the divine feminine side, whereas the right-hand side generally is the divine masculine side. And I was thinking, well, that's great because it's a lot of a lot of air, you know. We always tend to see Isis with her with her wings, and uh, so I thought, air, air's quite good. And I looked up and said, well, is there a, a card? Should I draw a card? And the answer was no. And then I looked and I saw my dragon deck, and so I drew a card. And just to confirm the whole, whole air thing, we got the air dragon. Uh, and so that the air dragon, it's all about looking at things from that higher perspective, uh, from, a, from a different point of view, you know, a different point of view. It's important to, to look at a different point of view when you look at the world, because sometimes we get stuck in our own stuff, don't we? We get stuck in our own heaviness, our own problems, and we start to take life too serious. And... Uh, we shouldn't because life's not about being serious all the time. There's definitely moments, but there's also a lot of joy to be had in just living, being alive and experiencing everything around us. And there is so much around us, which we sometimes forget to even look at. We forget to look at all those incredible things that are around us. And I'll read what it says in the air dragon card. It says hope helps you rise above earthly matters. And of course, air is also all about communication. Communication. What are you telling yourself? And what are you listening to? And what are you telling others? Are you being true to yourself? Are you being true to yourself? So easy for us to lie to ourselves and also lie to others. And not necessarily say blatant lies and so they're bending the truth a little bit. To make it just seem better. Maybe we tend to exaggerate things. And this is the time now we're in where it is so important to be true to ourselves. Be true to what your heart is telling you. Not just to go with the flow. It's easy to go with the flow. It's very easy to go with the flow and just pretend BS yourself All right or we can just step into our power step into our truth and just be better in this world and because that's what we need isn't it we need to be in our truth we need to be in our hearts we need to be super powerful super bright because that way we change ourselves, we change ourselves, we change the world around us. So that being said, I think we've got all those people that said they were going to be here that have joined in. So I tell you what, let's all um, let's go on a little journey, a little journey with Isis and the moon, and let's see where we end up. So 
sitting comfortably and just starting by taking a beautiful breath in and out. Just letting go. And I really want you to just allow yourself to fully connect to the earth. Doesn't matter where you're at. Doesn't matter what part of the world or what floor of the building you're on. Just allow yourself to get heavy and still. To start to really feel the power of gravity as gravity really holds us. And perhaps you feel tingling across your thighs or the back of your shoulders. Or perhaps you can sense or feel roots growing beneath your feet, connecting you deeply into the earth. As you follow your breath, just allowing yourself to become heavy, comfortable, and still. The stiller your body becomes, the quieter and stiller your mind becomes. When your mind is at peace, the body finds its peace. And when your body finds its peace and heaviness, so your mind finds peace, stillness, and quietness. And it feels good. It feels so good just to take this moment to find your stillness, to find your peace. And you might start to sense, sort of feel, or to imagine this beautiful moonlight shining down from above. It's like this incredible, beautiful, soft, silvery light that shines down around you. Perhaps you could feel it across your skin or sense it. Or perhaps you just get this deep sense of knowingness as this silvery moonlight caresses the space around you and your physical form as you follow your breath on that comfortable journey of the in and the out that is just right for you. The beautiful breath that so often we forget about. Our breath bringing us this beautiful life force So important to breathe. As you continue to imagine, feel, sense, know the silvery moonlight shining down around you and filling the space you're in. It's a very, very high vibrational light. And perhaps you can notice how it causes the body to tingle slightly. Perhaps you can hear it. Perhaps you can sense it and see it as the little particles moving of the silvery moonlight. Silver and white. Particles vibrating. And it feels good. It feels so good. 
in your physical body and the space around you. And as you sit comfortably in your space, the goddess Isis appears before you. Beautiful, magnificent dress. Sensing her, feeling her presence standing before you. And you notice that in her hands she has the moon. The sphere of incredible light. And she's holding it and handing it to you. I guess you could say the sphere is about the size of a basketball. But an incredible silvery white that is shining out in all directions. Isis, goddess of the left, hands you the sphere, the moon sphere, and you take it in two arms, holding it in front of you. And you begin to slowly bring the sphere down to your belly, down to your abdomen. And you bring the moon sphere into the abdomen area, your belly. And the beautiful light sphere seems to just glide very gently, very beautifully into your physical body, your physical form. And just take a moment to sense it, to feel the energy, to just know that it's there. As you focus on this moon sphere, in your abdomen and the beautiful silvery white light that admits you haven't noticed that the goddess Isis has stepped back into the shadows and has left you with this moon sphere And this light begins to expand, <laughs> expanding through your form, encouraging you to be the silvery light. As you begin to notice your breath again, and the power of your air, you start to notice or sense or feel or imagine this beautiful blue air dragon moving around you. This beautiful air dragon so fast swift like the air, 
moving around you. Puffing their breath onto your mind, onto your head. Shifting your perspective of your life to a higher perspective. Enabling you to sense and to see more of the world around you. Moving your consciousness to a higher plane, to a higher plane of existence. Allowing you to step into a new you, which is much higher, much more refined. much more in tune with the energies of Mother Earth. And it feels good. And you feel yourself just shifting out of the plane of human heaviness. Shifting out of that old earth energy that is so heavy and slow. The beautiful silvery moon sphere that is shining through you and the air dragon helping you rise above the old linear earth planes helping you be in the higher light the higher planes And the dragon, the beautiful air dragon, now encourages you to turn inward and to face yourself and to communicate honestly with yourself. Who do you see inside? Are you in alignment with your higher self, your higher purpose, the future you? What do you need to let go of to be the future you, the higher you? What do you need to do to be your higher self? You might sense something, you might see, you might imagine, you might feel, or you might know. Use the power of your breath, your air, and the power of the dragon's breath to blow or breathe this oldness out of you. And perhaps you need to take more than one breath, breathing in and breathing it out. Letting go of that block, that part of you that was out of alignment 
whether you sense it, whether you know it, whether you see it, whether you feel it or not, just know that it is happening on some level. And it feels good. As you breathe gently, Connecting to your heart now and the beautiful love light that you have inside. Illuminated by the moonlight sphere that's inside. Connecting to it, feeling it, knowing it, being it. As you turn now to the air dragon. And thank it for the breath of communication, the breath of hope, the breath of a new perspective and the breath of release of the old. And you thank Isis, goddess of the left, for the gift of the moon sphere, You begin to notice your breath again. You begin to become aware of the space around you. Your fingers, your toes. And taking another nice deep breath in. And then bringing yourself back into this present moment. Nice and gently. And bring yourself back to the present moment when you're ready. And perhaps you need to have a sip of water.